Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Pause the video right now to check out my social media, my radio show, and that drummerguy.com. And most of all, enjoy the following presentation. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, buddy? I'm doing good. Uh, it's It's been a while, but it's awesome to be able to talk to you again. Yeah, it's been a few minutes, huh? <laughs> yeah, but uh, understandably so. I mean, with uh, all the amazing stuff that you've been able to do since last time we were able to talk, I mean, it's awesome to see everything that you got going on right now. Yeah, it's been a uh, it's been a fucking hell, hell storm for sure. It's been uh, up, down, up, 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 up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. But um, yeah, uh, uh, first of all, I just want to say uh, thank you for reaching out to me uh, and uh, being able to talk about uh, everything that's going on with the absence and uh, talking about the new album which is coming out this Friday. Uh, I've just gotten a chance to be able to check out the single so far. I'm waiting for the promo for the full album, but I really love what I'm hearing so far. And I remember the last time we were talking, uh, you were so excited about the drum sound that you're going to be getting for this album. And I can definitely hear that. I mean, I just, I love everything that's going through there from the cymbal production to the drums, uh, the, the actual sound that's going on. And of course, uh, you're amazing playing. I mean, if those two songs are showing off what you're capable of and what, where the band's at right now, I can't wait to hear the whole thing. Awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah, dude, it really, uh, it really worked out. It really worked out well. Like I said in that last interview, that we had, we had taken our time and really, really honed in the tones and everything. And uh, and David Castillo at Ghost Ward had mixed it, and we were, I was like, hey, look at. I tried to play extra hard so we can keep as much of this natural snare and natural kick as possible. So um, I actually went to his studio not too long ago when my wife and I were vacationing in Sweden, and uh, he like he was explaining like Geo, and it wasn't that much of like sample. We'll get, have some uh, have some enhancement in there, but he's like, ah, it's not much, man. This is basically just it's just you. I was like, yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> because in in such a heavily sampled uh, environment that we live in, it's nice to have a bit of an opposite of that. Yeah, and <laughs> especially the beginning of the title track where uh, you can just hear like the subtle drums that's going on there. I mean, I just love the fact that it's not just the the same standard drum samples that's going on there. I mean, it sounds like a real kit being played, real cymbals being hit, a real drummer actually playing real drums and it just sets the tone for the rest of the song and it's just it's so great to see that and when you look at the video I mean your kit looks absolutely phenomenal I love the way that looks and it just has such a great sound to it as well thanks dude yeah it's a uh, that kit is actually the name of the wood is Wenge it's W-E-N-G-E and uh, like BC Rich used it a lot in the 80s on their bases um, it was like a, it was a pretty hot commodity back then but no one really is even boxed with it but um, yeah it's a it's a real rare dark wood and it just has has a pretty amazing tonal quality to it which is not normal it's not like your, it's not your stock standard maple or birch or any of that stuff well you definitely made me interested with it i mean uh, and, and now i want to do some investigating and see if i can get that in the future because i would love to be able to get those kind of tones when i'm playing yeah awesome yeah fuck yeah i was actually thinking about doing like a sample library of my whole kit anyways um talking about doing that maybe just releasing it just to I mean, whatever just have it <laughs> you know i mean not not just you but i was thinking about by doing that anyways you know that's a studio just release like a sample kit like that oh yeah and you know it's just like again you know it's just like um i know you can do the same thing with like guitar tones too but you know it's just like uh, being able to have like such great rich drum sounds that are available to you i mean that would be such a, a great thing to be able to show off and with it being such a very distinct sound that's coming off there with the wood tones i mean that would be a great idea yeah well it might just happen so <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah uh, getting back into things i mean of, of course uh, a gift for the obsessed is coming out on friday uh through m theory i mean it's it's great to see that you guys are back and are releasing at least what i've heard so far such a great killer album i mean it's really awesome that you guys were able to put out an album like this and uh, hopefully it's going to be getting the right touring promotion and everything because uh, i mean whenever i've seen you guys live you guys always put on such a great performance and i can't wait to see where you guys are going to be going with here i mean with two songs that are released so far I, I can't like i said before i can't wait to hear how the rest of it's going to sound on the rest of the album and especially live yep thanks uh we're really uh we're looking forward to getting out there i think it's going to be we're we're talking about something this summer and we for sure have something lined up for uh august into september well it'll be all all of september but it's not announced yet but uh there's something that's for sure in the bag which would be pretty rad and then uh we're working on some other stuff for this summer as well but um yeah we're i think 
think uh, depending on how much time we have, we're looking to do a good portion of new tunes, you know, just to get some new life out there um, for tour. So we'll, we'll probably do like a half and half new songs. And then, you know, of course, some of our quote unquote classics. And with that, I mean, it's, it's, it's great to see that you guys are going to be doing that. I mean, like, again, like I said, I've only gotten to hear the two songs so far and uh, graciously uh, awaiting that promo to be able to be sent my way. And if not, I'll be picking it up on Friday for sure. But the thing is, is just like, I'm so excited to be seeing what you guys are doing now. I mean, it's great to see that uh, you're going to be showing off the new album in a great light like that. And of course, uh, playing the songs from the past as well that really makes sense to be able to play with that yeah yeah you gotta you gotta do those <laughs> but i mean even though those are still in fun like we'll play riders of the plague and every time we end that song i'm like why the fuck did we write that that fast stupid <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not getting any younger uh, but whatever it's fun it's good shit good shit oh absolutely and it, it's not like you're not uh, staying in shape i mean especially with what you're doing right now i mean it's awesome to see like uh, the position that you're in right now uh, being over in europe right now playing with such an incredible band when the absence is not being able to uh, go out on tour i mean with everything that you do uh, behind the drums or in front of the drums i mean it's just it's so cool to see how actively busy you are yeah thanks man you know some days i feel like i don't do anything i sit at home and i'm like <clears throat> nothing's happening for like a month or so and i was like man i'm just not doing anything and then like i step back and my reality is it's reality is totally a direct opposite you know just kind of i'm doing a lot you know it just doesn't feel like it sometimes but it's pretty it's pretty rad to be out there and uh pretty ready to be out here right now man like touring with suffocation is great um those dudes are awesome the guy the, the girls in nervosa are amazing a turn them is the uh french canadian band that is out here as well and then uh survive which is a band from japan which is killer they're really a great band um and then of course you know playing with venom inc which is it's, it's blo it keeps blowing my mind continually i'm up there playing in league with satan and playing uh you know black metal and count as bathory and I'm like what's like what's actually happening right now <laughs> <laughs> you know, just having a, having a really good time, man. Just, you know, laying it all out there, dying on stage every night, you know, for, you know, just bleeding it all out. It's pretty great. It's a really great experience. Horrible pun aside, uh, you're laying down your soul for the gods rock and roll. You know, I'll take it, you know. <laughs> I will take that horrible pun. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I've, I've seen the pictures online. I mean, I've, I've never been so happy to see, like, a broken snare head, seeing, knowing how happy you are playing with Venom Inc. And, you know, just like a, yeah. being a fan of the band growing up and now you're getting to play with such legends and playing such legendary songs. I mean, I, I can't imagine there being a greater feeling than being able to play with a band that you grew up listening to. You know, it's, it's pretty amazing. These guys are, not only are they some of the... Demolition Man and Mantas are some of the most humble, humbled dudes that I've ever met in my entire life. But it's it's such a fucking gas, and it's such a gas. And to be playing this music, it really reminds me of. I grew up playing drums with my dad. Uh, my dad is uh, my dad was a guitar player, um, and we played my entire life. From I mean, he started me playing drums at like two or three, right? And uh, by the fourth grade, I played my first show in front of uh, my whole school. I played uh, the morning show, and then the afternoon show, and then at night for the parents. And it was just me, like all. The other kids were doing like a uh, like a choral performance and i was like no i can play the drums and they were like oh cool awesome you know nice i was like no i'll have my dad bring in my kit so my dad actually brought in my kit the next day and i played for my music teacher and he was like oh wow you can like actually play like <laughs> would you like to would you like to perform in this thing and i was just like i was just enamored i was like nine years old and i'm like yeah let's do it it sounds awesome so i mean so I, like i literally jammed nonstop with my dad like my whole life growing up just playing like purple cuts or uh you know in the vein of uh you know frank zappa or in the vein of deep purple or in the vein of uh, black sabbath or any of that stuff and then so now fast forward all these years later i'm jamming with jeff and with Tony, well mantis and with demolition man and it's it's really it's the same vibe as what i grew up on so i'm like i know it's breaks i know what happens here okay and it's just i'm getting to like it's all coming to fruition which is pretty amazing to see it all really just all the planets are totally aligning which is great and how is that for you i mean like uh obviously with the absence sounding so different to Venom Inc. and then with a, a sonic so different than Necromancing the Stew and I mean how does it feel to be able to show off all these different sides of your playing? Um you know it's again it's not one of those things I even notice until it's all happened then it's like well that's cool I mean okay <laughs> you know it's just uh I, I guess it just goes to show you never know what you're capable of until you put yourself in the fire and then once you go into the fire then you're like okay this is I can do this I can't do this this is a strong point I need to work on this I need to I need to tackle this I I need to move from this angle and then you just really start to learn yourself and you're you're playing either adapt
adapts or you don't. I think that really wholeheartedly depends on your personality. And my personality is go, 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 and whatever kind of shit you can throw at me, I can handle. Which, which I guess is, I guess it's it's taxing, but it's it's a really great payoff now. Oh yeah, I mean when this tour is done and then you're back and you get to sit at home and think about it, it's like wow, I just got to play with Venom Inc. throughout Europe with such great bands, of, and you know just like uh, having this time of your life being able to play these classic songs with such great bands and such great fans. I mean, I imagine the shows are just absolutely killer throughout this entire tour. I mean, and then uh, being able to go after that too. I mean, uh, being able to focus more on the absolute and uh, all of the other work that you get to do outside of the drums as well. I mean, just being able to have this down on uh, your resume, being able to do that. I mean, that's such a cool thing to see. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty sick, man. I'm pretty, I'm beside myself, honestly. I mean, the whole stuff I bought Pierce from within when I was 14 years old, and then I'm out here hanging out with these guys every day, and it's like, you know, it never ceases to amaze me. Like, any of the work I do with Sepultura, I mean, I was uh, Arise and Beneath Remains and Chaos AD and Roots. I mean, all those things were like such crucial albums and then they're those are homies you know those are my dudes and we i I get to i get to be a it's really crazy. It's really crazy. But I mean, it's it's a true, um, I guess I'm a total testament of it. You just work hard and apply yourself and uh, don't be afraid to take chances or risks. Then anybody can do anything realistically, you know? Oh, yeah, it's so true. I mean, and, and again, you know, it's like it's it's very inspiring to me. I mean, with like a, for you being able to do something with Venom Inc. And then, uh, of course, uh, talking to me uh, about uh, the brand new album from The Absence, which is coming out this Friday, you know, and then upcoming touring with that. And then all of your FOH work. And, and you know, it's just like, like all of this great stuff that you're able to do and you have that passion for and you know just being able to adapt into those situations and you know it's just like it's it's great to see that uh, when you have that drive and you have that passion to be able to do all these different things being able to get all of this inspiration when it comes into your own playing or when you're doing a house sound or whatever the case is I mean it's just it's so cool to see how you can adapt like that it's a uh, it's pretty sick man it's pretty sick <laughs> it's pretty fucking cool the whole sound thing really has helped out with um that's helped out with everything you know I've been able to you know even like coming down to like i have some if i have any issues with my monitors i mean i know what's happening with my monitors or if there's something at front of house that needs to be done i can assist on stage and you know uh having a healthy knowledge i mean i almost feel like every musician should have to go through you know a bit of like a bit of that training so they can have some understanding of like what all the jobs are and what everything entails into making a rock show a rock show you know it's not just like i show up and play it's i mean there's so much more that goes into it and if you understand and know more like taylor uh guitar player for the absence he's out here right now with me drum teching and basically stage managing and uh so he's handling all of like the back line for Venom and uh, you know it's great I mean because we both have such a we own the studio back home in Florida Smoke and Mirrors and which is where we track uh, all of our stuff 100% of everything is tracked there and uh, you know we're out here doing this and it's you know it's it's pretty incredible to see that all the back end work really does pay off and it really was a, a good a good avenue to go down like I was saying I think it might not be a bad idea for every musician to go out there you know spend some time with set up and learn how to actually do this stuff because I think that, uh, you know, the whole world would turn a bit better. But then again, that's just maybe my philosophy on it. Oh, and it totally makes sense too. I mean, there, there's a lot of bands who just think that they can only just focus on their instrument or sometimes like uh, you only want to focus on production rather than playing or uh, you just want to focus on house sound rather than uh, caring uh, about uh, what notes are being played or whatever the case is. But, you know, just like someone in your position, you know, it's just like a, whether you're playing on stage and behind the drums, whether you're working FOH, whether it's tour managing, whether it's uh, any of these things that you're able to be able to pull off. I mean, you're constantly learning and adapting to the music industry of what's going on, whether it's in a live setting or in the studio setting or, you know, just like being in a band, which already has its uh, a fair amount of drama and other stuff that can go into it behind the scenes. And, you know, just like, you know, again, uh, like you were saying, like I was saying, you know, just like uh, being able to adapt to these situations and learning all of this different stuff. And again, you know, just ha- having all that passion that's still going into to that you know it's like i think it's very important to be able to learn all these different aspects especially if we want to keep going yep i do too i, I do too yeah for sure for <laughs> sure for sure and it really again like i said it really helps it really helps it uh really ties the room together to quote uh big <laughs> <Lebowski. laughs> <laughs> and, and speaking of uh, tying the room together, again, like I was saying in the beginning, uh, when it comes into the new album from The Absence, I love the drum sound of what's going in there, and it's awesome to see like the sounds that you were able to, to get with that. How was the recording session for you this time around when you were working on the album? Uh, it was really
really smooth, as a matter of fact. Um, we did a full mic setup. I took a bunch of photos. I sent that over to David in Sweden, and um, I also did a little session. Uh, I took a little, recorded a clip of the session, then I shot him. I uploaded that and shot him over a link, and David downloaded it and put it into his Pro Tools rig and was really able to, with my photos and being able to hear and knowing every mic that I had on and what mic pre's I was using, he was able to, at that point, make adjustments to my kit, to my mic placement, to my rig from, uh, you know, remotely over in Sweden. So uh, we went back back and forth about three to four different go-rounds and sessions that we that we had sent over until we settled on uh, a drum tone that we were happy with. And then as soon as we pulled the trigger, uh, I recorded the drums in two days and bam, that was it. You know, rest is history. And then we, then we moved on from there. Oh, and that's, that's got to be such a great feeling too. I mean, just like focusing a couple days on the drums and uh, being able to have that kind of situation where uh, someone knows exactly what they're doing and being able to see the photos of what's going on. And, you know, just having something smooth like that because there's so many horror stories that can go into recording an album. I'm glad to see that it was able to go so smoothly. Yeah, you know, me too. It was, and of course we do it all in house, so it's it's pretty, it's pretty cool. You know, we we can take our time or we can speed through it. You know, it's really it's truly up to us. So it's a it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool thing. We're not like on the clock and stressing about it. There's there's no stress. As a matter of fact, it's just all right. Let's. Well, I mean, there's stress because it's hard to do. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's hard to spend hours and hours in a, in any kind of location working on your craft. You want it to be the best, but it's it's nice to have that financial burden off our shoulders well i mean in in so many ways because i mean we upgrade the studio constantly so that takes money <laughs> but it's just a different kind of money our money goes to something which is in-house which is fantastic oh yeah and you know and, and you can really hear that i mean when you go through the discography i mean you can hear like the progression of the production that's going in there and i mean this is easily some of my favorite sounds that have come uh, from from that studio i mean just like uh, from the drums guitars bass vocals everything i mean it's just like it sounds so crisp and clear I just love it. Yeah, the uh, you know a big a big help with that on these. Um... I switched my entire studio over a couple of years ago to all Klotz cables. That's K L O T Z, and these cables are fucking amazing, man. It really makes all the difference. It was, it was, it's night and day the differences between Klotz cables and not having Klotz cables. Um, so we switched everything over. So all of that it just gives very, very clean audio. And then for all the vocals we used, I have a, I have an Aston Origin, which is a, it's a stellar and. Uh, it's a very affordable microphone, which is fantastic, man. I mean, it's not like some like forty or fifty thousand dollar Neumann. It's it's uh it's an affordable microphone that is uh, just stellar, transparent. I use that for all the vocals um, at the studio. It's really uh really a great microphone, very versatile. But I mean, having having good tools in your arsenal and having good equipment really you know shifts the game. I mean, obviously everybody knows that, but you know, yeah, that did a lot of the legwork, is what I'm saying ultimately in the end. And then good mic freeze and, you know, and it goes from there <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because that goes back into what we were talking about before about like uh, uh being able to work in all these different sides of of music and a lot of musicians a, a lot of people may not realize how important uh cables really are especially when it comes into like a studio work making sure that you can get the best sound possible the best latency possible and you know it's just like when you find a great company like clots being able to uh, get that for your studio and being able to produce the best music possible i mean it really shows shines through oh man it makes all the difference and i didn't even fully realize i didn't i didn't fully realize until i had it then i was like oh my god i was like how have i fucking made it without this so that really changed the whole game and it really all changed <laughs> yeah and it, again you know it's just like it, it just made for some of the best possible sounds possible and of course uh, that comes from uh, everyone that's uh, making those sounds possible as well but you know again just like uh, when you're able to get the right equipment to do exactly what you want to do whether whether it is the cables whether whether it's getting a new kit with uh, some new wooden wood sounds that just uh, produces some amazing tone, whatever the case is, you know, it's just like when you're able to constantly progress yourself. I mean, that's such a great feeling. Yeah, it's really incredible, man. And like a lot of the times, I just, like I said earlier, I'm just like, how, how? <laughs> okay, it's amazing that I'm here, but how the fuck did I get here? You know, holy shit! Uh, just hard work, and then here you go. But having it, having it all really all come into fruition is a, uh, you know, obviously it's a dream come 
come true, but then it's, you know, it's more, it's more. There's been so much work leading up to it. No, nothing for me was ha- just handed to me, except for I had a very supportive musical father that always supported me. So I did have that handed to me. Um, I know a lot of people don't have that or didn't have that or don't or didn't or don't or didn't. And I have had that. So for that, I was fortunate. But for everything else, I've had to work, 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 bust my ass, work, do this, go, you know, go and just make it if I wanted it. Yeah, and that's why it's so cool to be able to see that the absence is able to uh, come back with a new album that's coming out this Friday. I mean, you know, just like uh, through all the years, all the touring, all, all of the albums previously, uh, and all of the stuff that you guys do outside of the absence. I mean, it, it's great to see, like, uh, after all this time and blood, sweat, and tears that really goes into a band that you guys are able to have a new album out this Friday that's just uh, absolutely ready to destroy. Yeah, we were so we were so fucking excited for that, man. And you know, as a matter of fact, uh, four out of five of us are on tour. Taylor and I are out here with Venom. Uh, Joey is out playing guitar for Sanctuary right now, out with Ice Earth, and uh, Mike is out playing bass supply. But it's a uh, uh, na- uh, they're doing the uh, Nail Bomb tour, so he's out playing. You know, so four of us are out right now, and then this record comes out, and then we get to all converge back home and do a listening party back home, and then a couple of us are going back out. And then, you know, and then we reconverge for, you know, our own stuff, which is, again, is great. It feels really awesome to have this record out, man. It really does. It's a it's a strong continuation for Riders of the Plague. Yeah. And, you know, it's just like I've, I've been um, chomping at the bit waiting for this album. I mean, especially when the last time we talked, like I was getting so excited because I do love this band so much. I love the progression of what you guys have been able to do so far. And again, like, uh, you know, just uh, hearing what I have from the album so far, just it makes me so excited because like uh, not just you, but, you know, it's just like the rest of the band is so capable of uh, playing all these great different styles and being able to adapt to these great situations so when you guys are able to uh, be at home be in the studio be in the rehearsal space being able to uh, get together and start writing this music start working on it for the live shows i mean it's really been paying off and i just i'm so happy to see that you guys are focusing on this new album being able to do some live touring that's coming up and you know just like uh, making the band as best as it possibly be yeah and you know a lot thank you and and this stuff is all in-house, man. Like I said, uh, we shot, uh, my wife and I shot the, she directed the Gift for the Obsessed video, and she also directed the uh, Misery Trophies video. So we both, um, we just filmed it, tried to do as much stuff as we possibly can in-house. My wife took all the photos for the record, which she's a very uh, accomplished and talented photographer, uh, well-respected around our area. And um, she's like, she's been so clutch in all this. And we've been just really doing everything in-house. Like, I mean, for the most part, everything we've just done at all you know have we just been sorting it all which is which is cool that also makes it it gives it a bit more a uh, bit more air of um, importance to us because i mean it is us it's it's just us it's us making what we like and creating music that we want to create and creating an atmosphere and an environment and an ambiance that it's just us and yeah like like you said we're kind of all like forming like voltron and we all separately do our own thing and then come back and just fucking kill it man like anytime we get together is it's such a powerful thing it's really powerful oh, looking forward to hitting the road and then fucking melting faces of course <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely excited for that. I mean, uh, like, uh, every time that I've seen you guys, I mean, it's always been an awesome show every time you guys come up here to Minnesota. And, you know, it's just like, it's going to be great to see uh, what you guys are going to be doing uh, in support of the album, whether it comes up here, whether uh, it's a mini mini touring, whether it's a full-on touring. I mean, whatever the case is, it's just, it's awesome to see that you guys are going to be hitting the road again. I'm so happy to see that. Cool, thanks, brother. Thank you so much. And, you know, I I wanted to mention it, uh, uh, since you brought it up as well, uh, uh, with the music videos, uh, both singles uh, with the music videos they're absolutely gorgeous i mean i love the cinematography that's going on with both of them and it's great to see that visual representation going on with the audio representation of where you guys are at right now i mean it's it's great to see that quality that's going into it cool thank you yeah and the, again yeah it's just all in-house we've uh, well we actually had it uh, we had tommy jones he cut the uh he cut both videos for us he's a really uh really fantastic videographer out of uh, california uh mega talented uh he's worked with some greats uh, i'm not gonna drop all the names but he's tommy's really awesome so we kind of uh we shot it we gave him a bit of vision and he just he made some crucial cuts and just did a did a fantastic job yeah absolutely and you know again you know, just like from all this in-house work all this great uh, diy uh, experience that uh, everyone in the band is being able to pull off i mean 
again, you know, just a, as, as a longtime fan, uh, being able to talk to you, you know, it's just like, again, it's just, it's so awesome to see where you guys are at right now. I mean, when you guys do with the absence, I mean, just like every time it just continues to slay everything in its path. And, you know, just like a, whether it is the music videos, whether it's uh, going on and touring or the new album, which is coming out this Friday. I mean, every time I get excited when there's some new news about the absence and it's just, it's so awesome to see that you guys are still rocking in 2018. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Well, I guarantee it's just as exciting for us, which is if you're if you're not having a good time, don't do it. Like It's like whenever you go into McDonald's and someone's a bummer there behind the counter, it's like, well, I mean, you don't have to work here and go work somewhere else. You know, that's your option. If you're going to if you're going to do it, love it or just don't do it. You're just, you know, polluting the place for the rest of us that actually want to be here. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And I mean, that's why I even admire what you do even more, because, you know, it's just like you are able to, again, you know, just like adapt to all these situations and, you know, just not getting burnt out i mean when i mean if something ever does falter at all like uh, you're playing drums too much or you're doing foh too much or uh the tour managing too much i mean you're able to have like all these great situations where you're able to change a little bit and have a new experience yeah it uh it keeps it, it for sure keeps it fresh it for sure keeps it fresh which is i'm thankful for you know i'm not typecast into just a one thing i'm not a i'm not a one trick pony you know which is nice you know i mean the same thing with you know with taylor uh, or uh joey or like any of us you know really like we all we all work our our individual jobs back home from you know is is music involved and it's easy to not get burnt out because we are able to go do so many different things and as many facets not as many as me but the guys they they kind of they kind of razz me a bit but uh yeah i mean I, I guess i got a lot going on like i said it doesn't feel like it sometimes and i'm like oh, okay yeah there's a lot out but yeah <laughs> yeah i was just gonna say i mean um, they must really appreciate it when you are <laughs> able to be at home and be in the studio and the rehearsal space and you actually do have the time to be able to work on the absence considering everything that you do yeah you know i mean it, it's never not about the absence you know it's never not about everything that's happening honestly like and on top of that i mean i have i got a whole half of soccer team of kids that are mine and you know real life and, uh, an amazing relationship with my wife and it's i have all that i have to you know mow my yard <laughs> i have to do all the water my plants and you know take care of my uh you know wash dishes and do all the rest of the regular human stuff too you know so it's it's, it's never not it's never not about all about the absence it's never not all about necromancing it's always everything's always on the forefront i don't know how to like treat life any other different way other than just it's all important and you're i guess i've gotten good at juggling (laughs) (laughs) oh definitely and i was gonna say i mean you're doing it right i mean i can tell by the tone of your voice how happy you are to be able to be in this position to be able to do all these things uh have a supporting family as well like uh, they're so supportive of you and like you said uh with your wife being able to help out with the band as much as she has I mean, there's so many uh, musicians out there that don't have that kind of support. And it's just, it's great to see that you are able to do something like this. And the ones around you are so happy for what you're doing and want to support you in that. Yeah, it's pretty incredible, man. It really makes it all, it really makes it all, it, that's what I'm saying. It's never not about any given band at any given point. Like, I mean, I have another band called Gore Gang where uh, Taylor actually plays drums in that band. Um, and I sing in it. And I've written a couple songs on guitar. And Taylor writes a couple songs. And our, our actual guitar player writes a couple songs. Um, uh, we own a we own a label and we're going to release that their Gore Gang's full length but my wife did um, she took all of our photos for us she's going to be filming a video and she's going to be cutting it um, it's all it's never not about whatever it's about and that's and that's still including I mean she has her own slew of shows that she does because um, she's like I said she's a very respected photographer around the well I mean she just is around uh, around the world really you know she has many fans everywhere and you know she does she does shows where she goes and displays you know new series here or uh, like she's shown a couple times in the Last Rights Gallery in New York, which we traveled up there to go hang out with Paul Booth and all that stuff and. And uh, it's really, it's never not about whatever art we have happen at that moment in time. We really have a full on art house, which is, it's pretty incredible, man. It's a really great situation. And I just, I have to say to anybody, if they're struggling with anything, just keep at it. If you really want something, you can have it. It's just, you have to, the laws of attraction, you just have to put it out there and back it with back to you. I absolutely promise this. Yeah. And I couldn't agree more with that. And I can very much relate to that in my own way. I mean, when I first uh, started this up and uh, got the opportunities to start doing interviews, 
I could barely talk. Like I was, uh, I, I was so scared to be uh, in front of the microphone, being able to talk to musicians that I respect so much. And it was hard not to either sound like I was fanboying or like a, uh, from the old Saturday Night uh, skits, uh, uh, the Chris Farley show, you know, just like a not being able to talk and asking all these stupid questions yeah, yeah, that you yeah, hear yeah. over and over again. But, you know, just from that uh, uh, trial and error, that persistence and everything, I was able to actually develop having like real discussions with people rather than just uh, writing down questions, not listening to what you're saying, just waiting for you to get done so I can ask the next question and not pay attention. I mean, I would rather, you know, just uh, focus on uh, trying to make the best possible conversation so people actually enjoy hearing something like this rather than uh, something that's just going to bomb like that. And, you know, that just comes from uh, being able to persist and persevere. And, you know, it's just like you were talking about. I mean, whatever your passion is in life, I mean, as long as you keep trying to go for it, I mean, you're eventually going to be able to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Just put it out there. Yeah. And, you know, actually, and speaking of that, I mean, uh, of course, with uh, all the stuff that you got going on right now, and then, uh, uh, like you mentioned before, like uh, some possibly some stuff uh, late summer coming with the absence. Uh, after this tour with Venom Inc., what do you got going on? Um, well, I really can't say right now, but I do have more touring coming up shortly. Um, it's kind of got to, it's got to be... It's not announced yet, so oh, cool. I can't really say cool. too much. But but it will be, uh, you know, very soon, very soon. Oh, awesome. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm glad to see that uh, you're going to be busy throughout all that time, too. I mean, making sure that you have the chops and uh, everything uh, when the absence tour comes up and everything that comes up after that. <laughs> Yep, chops are chops will stay intact. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, awesome. Well, uh, uh, once again, thank you so very much for uh, reaching out to me and uh, being able to have this uh, great discussion about everything that you got going on in your world right now, and of course, being able to talk about uh, the absence with the brand new album that's coming out this Friday uh, through M3 Audio, yes. a gift to the obsessed. I I love what I've heard so finally. far, and yeah, finally after all this time, I get to hear some new music from the absence. It, it just makes me so happy happy from that fan perspective and i think anyone that's checking this out from like any of the projects that you've been a part of uh, wherever they heard your name before once they pick up this album and hear what you're capable of i think they're going to be blown away cool thanks so much brother i really appreciate that oh not a problem uh, before we wrap things up here is there anything else you'd like to mention that i hadn't brought up yet um nope i think that's pretty much it uh, life's good life's life's hard work there's ups there's downs um but it's good man life is good